శ్రుతి స్మృతి పురాణ ఆలయం కరుణాలయం నమామి భగవత్పాదం శంకరం లోకశంకరం శంకరం శంకరాచార్యం కేశవం బాదరాయణం సూత్ర భాష్యకృత వందే భగవంతౌ పునః పునః ఈశ్వరో గురురాత్మేతి మూర్తి భేద విభాగినే వ్యోమవత్ వ్యాప్తదేహాయ దక్షిణామూర్తయే నమ సదాశివ సమారంభం శంకరాచార్య మధ్యమాం అస్మదాచార్య పర్యంతం వందే గురు పరంపరం ఓ సహనావతు సహనౌభునక్తు సహ వీర్జం కరవాహై తేజస్వినవధీతమస్తుమావిద్విషావహై ఓం శాంతి 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 పార్థాయ ప్రతిబోధి భగవత నారాయణేన స్వయం వ్యాసేన గ్రథి పురా నమునీ నా మధ్యే మహాభారతం అద్వైతామృతవర్షిణి భగవతీ అష్టాదశాధ్యాయి అంబత్వమనుసంధామి భగవద్గీతేషిణి యం బ్రహ్మ వరుణేంద్ర రుద్రమరు స్తున్వంతి దివ్యైస్తవై వేదైస్సాంగపదక్రమోపనిషదై గాయంతి యం సామగా ధ్యానవస్థి తద్గతేన మనస పశ్యంతి యం యోగిన యాంతం న విదుసురాసురగణా దేవాయ తస్మై నమ దేవాయ తస్మై నమ అనుతిష్టంతి శ్రద్ధావంతో న సూయంత శ్రద్ధావంతో న సూయంత ముచ్యంతేపి కర్మభి ముచ్యంతేపి కర్మభి తదభ్యసూయంత తదభ్యసూయంత సదృశ్యా సదృశం చేష్టీ ప్రకృతి ఇంద్రియస్యేంద్రియస్యాగద్వేషౌ వ్యవస్థితౌ 
ಶ್ರೇಯಾಧರ್ಮೋ ವಿಗುಣ ಶ್ರೇಯಾಧರ್ಮೋ ವಿಗುಣ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಉವಾಚ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಉವಾಚ ಅಥ ಕೇನ ಅಥ ಕೇನ ಪ್ರಯುಕ್ತೋಯಂ ಪಾಪಂ ಚರತಿ ಪುರುಷ ಪಾಪಂ ಚರತಿ ಪುರುಷ ಅನಿಚ್ಛನ್ನಿ ಅನಿಚ್ಛನ್ನಿ ವಾರ್ಷ್ಣೇಯ ಪಾಪಂ ಚರತಿ ಪುರುಷ ಪಾಪಂ ಚರತಿ ಪುರುಷ ಅನಿಚ್ಛನ್ನ ವಾರ್ಷ್ಣೇಯ ಸೊ now the essential teaching of karma yoga is over and uh, arjuna is now asking a question based on what was taught so with everything that bhagwan had said and pointing out to the likes and dislikes indriya sendriya arthe and uh, pointing to the importance of, of karma yoga to have a mastery over one's likes and dislikes so arjuna is asking a, a pointed question he says saying why why people are like the way they are you know so we ask the question why why did he do that why did she do that why did my brother do that why did my sister do that this is common very common question every family there is this why does my daughter do this why does my son do this how can parents do this so this question is there in everybody's mind and not a, there is not a single exception to this and uh, how can my friend do this so th- that question that question is answered in krishna's own style he is answering that question so look at this papam charati papam charati means one commits an act act of adharma an act that accrues papam that kind of an act an unrighteous act papam charati purushah 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 means purushah person where did we see the word purushah before at least did we see it before or not yeah so that's good we saw it before i think 11th shloka you get the, get the, that thing it's called tasmad asakta asakta satatam karyam karma samachara asakto hyacharan karma param apnoti purushah so we saw it there same purushah purushah is a human being why does a human being commit an unrighteous act a an adharmic act why 
and uh, more specifically atha kena atha in that case atha or uh yeah in that case based on what you have said so far kena prayukta ayam purushah ayam purushah this person this person kena prayukta impelled by what forced by what who is there somebody behind this person who is making this person do all these things kena by what by whom kena prayukta varshneya he varshneya there is a word varshneya in the second line second word varshneya vrishni the the lineage of vrishni and so called varshneya so he is addressing krishna as varshneya a descendant of the vrishni vrishni dynasty he varshneya then what baladiva niyojita balat iva so as to just forced by an external force by that force what is that force balat iva as to force to do as to force to do and baladiva niyojita and then anichchan api he says that also forced to do something but the person doesn't like to do it nobody wants to hurt others only after words are uttered after after the child is physically hurt then there is guilt in the mind of the mother or the father guilt is there why guilt is there because the mother did not want to do that father does not want to do that so guilt comes and no poor child so after everything is over poor child okay and so baladiva anichchan api not liking not having desire to do that so kena prayukto yam like that arjuna is asking the question <clears throat> and uh, nobody needs to be told what is right and wrong in general for all the basic things nobody needs to be told what is right and wrong even a child knows what what is right and wrong from a young age it knows that is why if want if it wants to take the pencil of somebody else the, when the somebody else the friend is looking the other way then pull the pencil out why if it is right why should the child do that just take the pencil if you want the pencil take it no he won't like it if i take the pencil because it is his pencil that knowledge is there very much in the child so there is swami, swami paramatananda ji says this he says two two thieves decided to steal some money and they stole the money from a house and then they um, or or a bank bank is a better example for this stole the money from a bank and money from the bank means lot of money lot of cash and counting cash is not easy if you have a lot of cash okay and uh, so they decided let's take some rest and uh, let's rent a room in a hotel let's relax for the day you know we had a long busy day very <laughs> robbing a bank is not an easy job and then uh, let's get up in the morning and the newspapers will tell exactly what happened and uh, we will know how much money is there we don't have to count it you know it's a lot of money and then you can take half approximately half i can take approximately half eh, that will save us some time you know now even the thieves want to save time you know they also have a value for time it seems so they agreed and they said good and then they get up in the morning and he gets up in the morning and the other guy is gone missing not there and you know what he says my god i trusted him he stole my money look at this <laughs> the thief telling the other guy he stole my money <laughs> money has already become his okay and so he doesn't like the thief doesn't like the other person stealing the money from himself this is how it is 
everybody knows nobody needs to give a lecture that you know don't do this you should not steal and you should not hurt others not needed that lecture is a wasteful lecture occasionally we do tell our children that's okay we have to remind them uh, of what they already know you're not telling them anything new and uh, so and uh, this one in in mahabharata duryodhana also says this it's a very famous statement janami dharmam nachame pravrutti some of you know that janami dharmam nachame pravrutti i know what dharma is you don't have to tell me that but i can't follow it i can't follow it nachame pravrutti janami adharmam i know what adharma is i know what is not to be done nachame nivrutti i can't desist i can't refrain myself from doing what is not to be done this is his problem so th- th- he says that in the mahabharata then he says kenapi devena hridisthitena kenapi devena hridisthitena means by somebody sitting in my heart hridisthitena kenapi somebody sitting in my heart yatha niyuktosmi tatha karomi so that person whoever is in my heart whatever he or she says i am doing i seem to be doing this is what duryodhana says so uh, so very important kenapi you know we always have that and often we even without our knowledge we may say it so he did it she did it you made me do it that person made me do it he should not have done this so immediately you know pointing fingers at so many other factors you know and if we, uh, if we are if we if we know a little bit of astrology then we will bring in shani poor shani you know we bring him in, into that and then and then i'll say air not to shani sade sati you know sade sati hai na so sade sati means it's going on and on constantly it's my you know bad period right now and so i have that sade sati to blame and uh, and we say vinasha kale viparita buddhi also we say some of you may know that vinasha kale viparita buddhi means when somebody is determined to destroy himself then his mind is going to work in a in an opposite manner like that you know there are some statements but but here arjuna wants to know tell me hey krishna why a person does this so let's uh, see that arjuna vacha arjuna said okay let's translate the shloka hey varshneya hey krishna <clears throat> impelled by what kena prayukta impelled by what okay does a person commit papa i am purushah papam charati i am purushah papam charati does a person commit papam kama as though pushed by some force as though pushed by some force okay balad iva niyojitah balad iva niyojitah as though pushed by some force even though not desiring to even though not desiring to question mark impelled by what comma does a person commit papa comma as though pushed by some force even though not desiring to okay <clears throat> so now the rest of this chapter is going to involve bhagwan shri krishna answering this question <clears throat> okay let's chant this one yeah mohan mohan sai ये 
Yes, Guruji. Shri Bhagavan Uvacha. Shri Bhagavan Uvacha. Kama Eshaha. Kama Eshaha. Krodha Eshaha. Krodha Eshaha. Rajoguna. Rajoguna. Samudbhavaha. Samudbhavaha. Mahashano. Mahashano. Mahapapma. Mahapapma. Vidhena miha. Vidhena miha. Vairinam. Vairinam. Kama esha krodha eshaha. Kama esha krodha eshaha. Rajoguna samudbhavaha. Rajoguna samudbhavaha. Mahashano mahapapma. Mahashano mahapapma. Vidhena miha vairinam. Vidhena miha vairinam. <clears throat> so again, some familiar words which we can recognize. Kamaha, Krodaha. And he's going to say Vairinam. He's going to use a strong word for that. He's going to say Vairinam. Vairinam means enemy. This Kama and Kroda are your enemies, he says. And uh, earlier also we saw it. Where did we see it? Dhyayato Vishayan Pumsaha. Sangasteshu Pajayate. The more a person dwells on an object or a person, Sangaha, there is an attachment. There is a like and the like becomes stronger and stronger. Sangat Sanjayate Kamaha Kamat Krodho Bijayate. From that like, from that strong like comes anger. And then Krodhat Bhavati Sammohaha, Sammohat Smriti Vibramaha, all the way down to Buddhi Nashaha. Krishna had said in the second chapter, if you remember. So, here, very interesting. Who, who makes somebody do something wrong? Okay. And uh, Bhagavan Shankara here talks about Bhagavan, who Bhagavan is. He defines, uh, earlier we saw a definition of Bhagavan. How many of you remember the definition of Bhagavan? Yeah, some of you do. Aishwaryasya Samagrasya Viryam Yashasha Shriyaha. Jnana Vairagya Yos Chaiva Shannam Bhaga Itirana. So we saw Bhagavan. So um, Samagrasya Aishwaryasya. So overlordship, complete overlordship. And then Viryam, strength, Yashasaha, fame, Shriyaha, resources, wealth. And then uh, Jnanam, knowledge, Vairagyam, dispassion. Full measure, Samagrasya. Samagrasya, complete, full measure. And that, that quality is called Bhaga. And the one who has Bhaga is called Bhagavan. We saw that. And here Shankara brings in another definition of Bhagavan. And uh, he's taking a, uh, quoting uh, Vishnu Purana in this commentary. He's quoting Vishnu Purana. And there, there is a particular shloka. And uh, there it says, Utpattim pralayam chaiva. Utpattim pralayam chaiva bhutana magatim gatim veti vidyam avidyam cha. Saha bhagavan iti. Savacho bhagavan iti. Like that. So bhagavan is one who knows Utpattim pralayam cha. The creation and the dissolution. One who knows that. One who knows Bhutanam, Agatim, Gatim. One who knows how living beings come forth and how they disappear. Gatim, Agatim. Bhutanam, Agatim, Gatim. And then uh, Vetim, Vidyam, Avidyam. Cha. Bhagavan knows Everything, all knowledge and ignorance also. The cause of ignorance, everything 
the one who knows that is called Savachyo Bhagavan. Like that, Bhagavan Shankaracharya quotes. And then, why Bhagavan should be quoted here in this shloka, which says, who is the, who is the, who is sitting inside me, making me do all these things? That's because the idea is generally we like to attribute, like to attribute these kinds of the reasons to something other than oneself, other than the self. And so Bhagavan Krishna, Shankaracharya says, don't point to Bhagavan and don't point to devil either. And you know, devil also we can point, you know. <laughs> we, 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 if Bhagavan doesn't do it, then devil has to do it, right? Uh, and because de- that means devil is opposed to Bhagavan. And Shankaracharya says, there is nobody opposed to Bhagavan. Nothing like that. No concept of devil. Rakshasas and this and that, yeah, let them be. But nobody is opposed to Bhagavan. Okay? That point he is saying here. And saying, Kama Yesha Krodha Yesha. Yesha. Kama, your own desire is doing it. Don't try to look for some some, what do you call, there is a word for it. Uh, don't point, don't point to other things. You know, he did it, she did it, they did it, etc. And Shani, Shani Bhagavan is doing it. You know, no, no, no. Kamaha. Kamaha. Yeshaha. Yeshaha means this. Okay. This desire. It's talking about this desire. Why should Bhagavan use the word this? And he is using this because that is universal. Universal. This desire, this anger, everybody knows what desire is. Everybody knows what anger is. So this desire did it. He says, this desire does it. Uh, <clears throat> so, so Pratyaksha. Desire is well known to everybody. So he's saying this desire and uh, then Rajoguna Samudbhava. <clears throat> so again, Gunas we saw Sattva Guna, Rajoguna, Tamoguna. Later on, we will see more details about that. But this desire, which is caused by Rajoguna, the Guna that, that is the cause for all activity. And that is Rajoguna. Sattva Guna creates environments conducive for knowledge, conducive for knowing, conducive for clarity. And so that is Sattva Guna Pradhana. Sattva Guna Janitam, Jnana. And Rajoguna is this, this desire, Kama. And uh, then he says, may you know that these are your, this is your enemy. Vidhi enam iha vairinam. Vairinam, he says. You know them to be these two to be your enemies. <clears throat> and see, he says kama yesha. This is desire and then this is anger. So, when we discussed this, we talked about we talked about how anger happens, okay? Desire is there and when my desire is not fulfilled or when my desire is blocked by something or some person, then that person or thing becomes a target of my anger, correct? So this is the logic Bhagavan Sri Krishna gave and so therefore that same desire became anger, becomes anger. Anger is just a different form of desire. Look at that psychology here that we learned. And Arjuna knows it very well. How Arjuna knows it very well? There's a story. So he was, he was, uh, you know, they were living in the forest 13 years. In the 14th, at uh, the 13th year, they were supposed to be incognito. Correct? They have to live incognito. So that was the time. So during that time, or before, some years before that, this happened. And uh, he, so I, so he was he was in Indraloka, right? He was in Indraloka before that, and so he was. Uh, 
so I, urvashi told him you know what i, I think uh, you can teach us what you know and then we'll teach you what we know and uh, we'll teach you how to dance and all these things will be useful to you and all the arts and all that will be useful to you he said no no i don't think i can you know that's not i i there i'm going to be fighting a war shortly and so this dancing and all that won't help me you know and uh, <laughs> no no she said no you should learn all these things these are all important is it okay let me so he learned all the dances and uh, and then achana impressed them in indraloka and you know we are the best dancers and you have surprised us a lot and uh, you mastered you are better than your guru chitrasena your guru and you ma- you are better than him also her and so she was impressed urvashi was impressed and urvashi then tells him you know what i love you i want you to marry me and then arjuna says arjuna says no i mean i can't do that i can't do that you are my guru you are my teacher you and chitrasena taught me and we you know shishyas cannot marry gurus you know it's that's not the tradition <laughs> then in the urvashi says no when you first saw me i noticed you were staring at me you were gazing at me i know don't hide all this thing. and uh, you know what arjuna replies to that he says yes i looked at you yes you were very beautiful and uh, but you know what thought went in my head my ancestor puru uh, puruvas my ancestor married you we are the descendants of you oh urvashi you are our mother i was thinking like that that was the thought that was going in my mind don't think i fell for you and all that no no i was this is what i was thinking and so hey mata ji don't say things like this that you you know marry me and all these things not possible like that and uh, you know what urvashi means uras ah uh, urasi urasam vashi karoti iti uras means heart one meaning of uras is heart and the one who captures your heart is called urvashi that's a literal meaning of the word urvashi so so he said mata ji and imagine what a how urvashi must have felt and the whole the, the, even rishis cannot re, cannot you know resist the temptation that she will bring and this man that says mata ji and all that so she is furious she is furious and says you will lose your masculinity that's it you no longer be a man okay i'll be a woman no you won't be a woman also so gone and then indra intervenes and there is a story like that and so so then indra says don't worry uh, you let's put a time limit one year you will <laughs> you will not be a male and then uh, and you can choose whenever you want you can choose that period whenever you want like that the story goes and then of course arjuna uses it very well and he becomes brahmanala and a cook at things like that not cook i think a dancer a dance teacher in virat virada desha so all that story is there so arjuna knows very well the love the kama that urvashi had one minute the next second it became krodha correct krodha same kama became krodha so arjuna knows this very well so it didn't take him long to understand what krishna was saying and uh, then then krishna is going to say that also in uh, um uh, fifth chapter fifth chapter is going to say that shaknoti haiva yasodum um prak sharira vimokshanat kama krodho udbhavam vegam uh, like that he is going to say kama krodha is going to bring that and again in the 16th chapter he is going to bring it you can look that up 1621 um trividam narakasyedam uh, dwaram nashanam atmana trividam narakasyedam dwaram narakasya dwaram there are three roads to hell <laughs> three roads to hell 
ఓకే టు నరక హెల్ యూ లెట్ గో త్రీ రోడ్స్ టు నరక వాట్ ఆర్ ద త్రీ రోడ్స్ కామ క్రోధస్ తథా లోభ ఈ బ్రింగింగ్ ద వర్డ్ లోభ మీన్స్ గ్రీడ్ అండ్ సో ఈ బ్రింగ్స్ దాట్ అండ్ దెన్ తస్మాత్ ఏతత్రయం త్యజేత్ దేర్ ఫోర్ గివ్ అప్ దీస్ త్రీ లైక్ దాట్ హీస్ గోయింగ్ టు సే ఇన్ ద సిక్స్టీన్త్ శ్లోక అండ్ సో so therefore he is using a strong word here krishna having known how powerful this kama and krodha are and uh, they are maha papma maha papma maha papma so great I'm hesitating to use the word sinner a, a great force that commit crimes okay mahapapma this kama is like that and uh, you know physically one may not abuse other people the abuse that happens in our life often is just verbal just sharp tongue that is enough sharp tongue just ruins our life ruins our day ruins everything sharp tongue and so mahapapma not correct and uh, and so that that message of krishna that it is kama and krodha in our annual function you know those of us who have this who who have this sacred thread when we change it every year there is a mantra we chant and we do a bunch of rituals and then there comes a time when we are supposed to chant that mantra 1008 times okay and that mantra is called kamo karshit manyura karshit namo namaha kamo karshit manyura karshit namo namaha let me explain kamaha akarshit kama did it kama did it manyuhu akarshit manyuhu means krodaha anger krodaha akarshit krodha did it did what did everything that i was not supposed to do call that and so it's a beautiful mantra it doesn't mean i am abdicating responsibility it means yeah there is something in me i have to watch out the kama is there the krodha is there and then 1008 times we chant kamo kashin manira kashin namo namaha kamo kashin manira kashin namo namaha kamo kashin manira kashin namo namaha the child imagine a 7 year old child will chant it not knowing the meaning of course but then it, this is the culture the child grows it. and and so that person and uh, somebody said i am learning sanskrit now i am beginning to understand that this language is so brilliant because it is a person who knows this language it is impossible for that person to be dishonest means that language is so powerful and uh, it's it's just not possible for uh, for for me to for such a person to be consistently you know hurting other people not possible so that's that's the that's kamo karshi manyura karshi namo namaha and so he says vidhi vidhi okay second line second third word vidhi enam ih vairinam split that vidhi enam ih three words there in that one word okay vidhi vidhi means may you know hey arjuna may you know may you know what enam this this kama this krodha may you know it enam is singular why he should use singular there are two things kama and krodha he should have said uh, um etau he should have said no not dual why because kama is not different than i mean krodha is not different than kama correct kama becomes krodha therefore it is the same thing same force so enam singular and he is using singular mahapapma singular everything is singular there <coughs> okay vidhi enam 
understand this to be your enemy vairinam iti vidhi understand them this to be your enemy iha iha means in this world in this world there is really no enemy but this this kama is your enemy okay then what then that the duryodhana said kenapi devena hridi sthitena the somebody is sitting in my heart is making me do these things right so oh, that somebody krishna says is none other than this kama yesha kama ha then another word krishna uses mahashana mahashana ash ash dhatu to consume to eat ash dhatu so mahashana you can now guess it's a great eater it's a great consumer it will just consume you mahashana kama will just consume you and uh, so mahat asanam bhojanam yasya so the one for whom you become a big dinner that is called mahashana that is called kama and uh, there is no limit to desire this is a common statement people say it everywhere in every culture every country they say that and desire has no limit so that this comes from here mahashana no limit so there is a shloka which says this poor man wants 100 rupees once he gets 100 he wants 1000 rupees sahasram then sahasradipaha laksham vanchati he wants 1 lakh rupees then then the person wants koti koti means crore then the person wants to be a king okay king means chief minister okay if you if you have difficulty visualizing king you know we have not lived in the times of kings so we have seen only amachitra katha and all these things movies we have seen so if you have difficulty with kings you can say chief minister and then what then i want to be a chakravarti chakravarti means a king of kings and be prime minister i want to be a prime minister or a president so everybody can report to me the entire country can report to me so that's how this thing goes the desire is always like that and uh, and we saw the word analaha analaha right like fire desire is like fire fire will never say enough and i'm done for today my quota is over so it won't say that fire therefore it's called analaha alam na vidyate alam means enough not enough the name of fire one other name of fire is not enough and uh, so kama is like anal and why is kama like that why is it like that krishna is not asking why is it like that but we are asking i mean arjuna is not asking and uh, so katopanishad yama is telling nachiketa paranchikani vyatrana swayambhuhu like that there is a beautiful mantra he says hey nachiketa the human being is built in the following way all senses are all looking outward they're all outward eyes outward everything is outward smell outward sight everything is outward and so the entire world this person can know and the person likes hates everything the entire world paranchikani vitrana swayambhuhu tasmat paran pashyati therefore he thinks that the world is separate from himself and that conclusion he makes there is no proof there is no proof that the world is separate from me okay there is really no proof but just because i see an object and i call it an object that is separate from me that concludes that conclusion makes me separate from the rest of the world and therefore what yama says so nantar atman therefore that person cannot see atma cannot see atma so from there from that everything is born that insecurity is born and insecurity i can't handle insecurity i want to become secure and the only thing that can make me secure is to satisfy my desires desire is there to become secure and that desire gives all these other desires 
and so kama comes so like that kato upanishad when we study we can we'll read that mantra and uh, so kamaha eshaha krodaha eshaha rajo guna samudbhavah let us translate this shloka where krishna is pointing to the so called cause for for somebody to do something wrong shri bhagavan said shri bhagavan uvacha this desire kama yeshah kama this desire kama this anger kama yeshah krodah born of the guna called rajas kama rajo guna samudbhavah born of the guna called rajas is a glutton is a glutton mahashana glutton and a great um papi great papi one who commits papa is called a papi so is a glutton and a great papi full stop i'm not going to translate the word papi um know that to be the enemy know that yenam vidhi vairinam yenam vairinam vidhi know that so that means within brackets that desire that kama to be the enemy here in this world here in this world iha iha here here in this world very interesting usage in sanskrit iha iha here in this world because suppose i suppose somebody says i want to go to heaven i want to go to heaven means sir uh, my problems are right now here okay i am dealing with problems now at this moment i have problems i need help with that okay you are talking about going to heaven what does heaven got to do with my problems here i want to be happy here and now okay so this iha this word i often i see it shankaracharya says it shastram always uses that word iha iha means in this world but let's focus on this world let's let's focus on this life here okay other life later and heaven and all these things let it be let's not get carried away by heaven and things like that so that's what i get from this word iha so you know normally in our in conversation we don't say in this world in this world you have to study and make it my dear son otherwise in this world there is a lot of competition it's a dog eat dog world and you can't simply while away your time you know like that we don't have a conversation so yeah <clears throat> okay so let's uh, chant the next shloka here number 38 okay hemalata ramesh unmute yourself <clears throat> धूमे नाव्रियते धूमे नाव्रियते वन्निहि वन्निहि यथा दर्शः यथा दर्शः मलेन च मलेन च यथोल्बेन यथोल्बेन आवृतो गर्भः आवृतो गर्भः तथा धूमे नाव्रियते यथा दर्शो मलेन च यथा दर्शो मलेन च
also beginning to introduce how how this karma operates krishna so look at how much how much uh, how much, how insightful these shlokas are you know there is that uh, there is a field of psychology and uh, which is growing obviously and uh, which is very important and yet you know to what extent psychology has taken us you know we you know allowed to hear from from our experts here like anjali some day and uh, so here krishna is talking about how this karma operates dhumen avriyate vannihi vannihi agnihi analaha fire so fire as i told you some time ago lot of synonyms for the word fire and so vannihi dhumen avriyate like the fire is covered by fumes smoke and thereby preventing you from seeing that fire dhumena avriyate vanni fire is there very much there you know the fire is there how do you know the fire is there well you know that without fire there can't be smoke therefore you made an inference the fire must be there and but you can't see it why you can't see it the the smoke has the capacity to cover the fire which is brilliant which is a source of light it can be covered so dhumena avriyate vannihi and uh, then what so like that my viveka can be covered my viveka buddhi my intellect which is blessed with the capacity to know what's right and wrong to to follow what's right and follow what's wrong knowing what is right and knowing what is wrong implies that i will do what is right and i will not do what is wrong it implies it it, it is implied but that buddhi as though covered as though covered fire did not disappear by smoke smoke cannot make the fire disappear and uh, but it's covered temporarily covered as though so like that this viveka viveka buddhi so important that is unique to the human being so two types of viveka buddhi what are the two types dharma adharma viveka that means knowing the difference between right and wrong <laughs> there can't be a rule book that can teach me what is right and wrong to some extent a rule book can be there but then constantly we have to keep interpreting what is right and wrong right and so what is wrong at home i cannot pinch somebody at home and that would be considered wrong okay but the same me when i go to the hospital i am a doctor and i can poke a needle into the patient and it is causing the same hurt and there it's not wrong it's the right thing to do so constantly we have to interpret what's right and wrong and uh, th- so that's very critical and so that is dharma adharma viveka then the other viveka is atma anatma viveka that the difference appreciating the difference between atma and anatma so these two are there and that viveka is covered dharma dharma viveka definitely covered that is enough and uh, like the smoke covers the fire and he gives a couple of more examples we will see that in the next class om swasti prajabhya paripalayantam nyayena margena mahi mahishaha ಗೋಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣೆಭ್ಯ ಶುಭಮಸ್ತು ನಿತ್ಯಂ ಲೋಕಸ್ಸಮಸ್ತ ಸುಖಿನೋತು ಕಾಲೆ ವರ್ಷತು ಪರ್ಜನ್ಯ ಪೃಥಿವೀ ಸಸ್ಯಶಾಲಿ ದೇಶೋ ಎಂ ಕ್ಷೋಭರಹಿತ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣ ಸಂತು ನಿರ್ಭಯ ಓಂ ಸರ್ವೇತು ಸುಖಿನ ಸರ್ವೇ ಸಂತು ನಿರಾಮಯ ಸರ್ವೇ ಭದ್ರಿ ಪಶ್ಯಂತು ಮಾ ಕಚಿತ್ ದುಃಖಭಾಗ್ಭವೇತ್ ಅಸತೋ ಮಾ ಸದ್ಗಮಯ ತಮಸೋ ಮಾ ಜ್ಯೋತಿರ್ಗಮಯ 
Mrityorma Amritangamaya Om Pur Namadaf Pur Namidam Pur Nath Pur Namudachyate Pur Nasya Pur Namadaya Pur Nameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Harihi Om